You, like you start to continue on those runs. You, just, you have one idea in mind. You have one thought in mind. That's you know win the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tevin, I'm not trying to pick on you. What happened on that fast break? It looked like you were going up to the dog. End up playing it in. I took off from the parking lot. I took off too far. <laughs> And I was like, I just, I knew right away I was going to fell short. And I didn't want to get yelled at, so I just laid it right in. You made it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I get one back soon. Your hip good? You just seem like you got knocked on the inbound yeah. play or something? Uh, hip would be right. Elbow to uh, the hip. So I guess they call it a hip point or something like that. Something that hurts really bad. So yeah. But you're right. Yeah. That, that layup actually looked kind of cool though. When you watch it, the highlight, because you're above the rim, you just kind of flick it off the yeah, backboard. You know I mean? there. Can't dunk everything. That's why I did. I did it on purpose. Exactly. Seth, it felt like that Cormac steal exactly. under the basket, which led to your layup, was kind of the moment where y'all got going. Do you agree with that? And then what y'all feel as far as the shift after that? Absolutely. Uh, definitely helped us get going. Uh, I, you know, give kudos and thanks to the crowd. I was a lot of support to Dean Dome in, in a very long time, and we definitely you know, fed off of that. I couldn't really help but have a smile on my face while you know, you're playing. What you notice about them once y'all started pressing them? That we're very versatile with our defenses. Uh, we can hit you one thing, but then if we need to press and switch to another thing, we can do that in an instant and just never get them going. Was there a significant shift? I'm sorry, go ahead. Were you surprised the press was working as well as you guys decided to switch to No, no, I had no surprise at all. We had very quick guards in the game. You know, we had big exact move in the game, and we've been working on this since. I don't know how long, but for months of practice, so no surprise. Elliot says you guys work on it every day, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. We like to mix up defenses up in practice, and the always get started in there. Saving it for a 14-point deficit at home, right? Huh? Right. <laughs> right. Did, did you kind of feel the blood water, so to speak, once y'all started not rolling out of the practice? Absolutely. No. Absolutely. I think once we got the single digits, uh, maybe the first time, whatever it was, but, you know, we knew we knew we were going to that game. What's that say about this team? Whereas last year, uh, that team probably would have wielded in the second half going down double digits. Uh, you know, I just think this year, we just have the heart, we have the determination, we have the grit to fight no matter what and go out there and show up in those games. Three straight games of 27 points for RJ. I think he's got 107 in the last four. He's taken his game to a level we haven't seen yet before. Is, have you seen this building over the last six months? Definitely. Definitely. Uh, I think my biggest thing I've seen with him is just really take over that leadership role. That's the biggest thing. You know, in practice, he's not going for 40 every single day, but you see it in games, and you also kind of see that leadership that, that goes with it. So, you know, it's been fun to watch. And when he's in one of those stretches, what, what does that do for you guys as far as just the broad confidence that you guys have as a group, knowing that RJ's going to pop for a while? It gives us the confidence knowing that we have instant offense, you know, whenever he's on the court, when he's hot like that. So it's, it's very fun. It's very fun. Cool.